This is the Marvel wet bandsaw. Always use your safety glasses when using this machine. If you have any questions, ask staff. Consult the operating procedures list. Cutting speed should be selected based on the material being cut. Down below, you'll see three belt settings, which correspond to three columns on the cutting speed chart. After selecting your cutting speed, you'll then make your changes by moving this lever. The cutting speed should always be changed while the machine is off. Cutting force should be adjusted by moving this weight here. It should generally remain between the 0 and 3 range, with 8 being the greatest cutting force. The clamp can be quickly adjusted by first lifting this knob. Rotating the knob will then further tighten the clamp. Before tightening the clamp, make sure that this piece is butted up against the jaw. After having secured the material, this collar should still be free to move. If not, this means that the knob is bottomed out. To correct this, completely loosen the knob, then push it forward again and restart this process. You may want to support this piece as you tighten the knob to prevent this problem from happening. The longer end from the cutting line should be placed in the clamp and the piece should be oriented as to minimize the length of the cut. When securing larger material that occupies a small portion of the clamp, insert a piece of similar dimensions on the opposite side of the clamp before tightening down. This will ensure that the jaws remain parallel and that your piece is not deformed. When positioning your cutting line, take into consideration the material consumed by the saw blade, called saw kerf. Saw kerf is usually greater than the blade's thickness due to the cutting teeth and blade vibration. The machine makes its cuts on moving the bandsaw portion while the table remains stationary. The saw can be moved manually by rotating this wheel and fed automatically by flipping the switch once the machine is on. The black button starts the blade and the red button stops the blade. Before starting the machine, bring the blade to the material manually by rotating this wheel. After starting the machine, but before flipping the feed switch, make sure there's cutting fluid flowing on the blade.